and we are back sorry about that guys it was a glitch on my part i think it was my fault i'll take the blame anyway this once but usually it's um baby hornet's fault but uh, i'll take it for him this time because i don't want him to cry i'm still with stefan are you still alive yeah. still awake after your long flight from budapest uh, i'm warm and healthy warm and healthy that's what yeah. i like to hear <laughs> No, it's uh, yeah, I'm actually feeling quite awake because the, that was what we have seen was a very exciting sprint race, so that uh, makes it easy uh, to uh, yeah to not fall asleep basically. Uh, unlike the real F1, where sometimes even I, as a hardcore fan, uh, there's you know there are often some races where you are. Yeah, I thought you were going to say you're a hardcore fan of Max Verstappen then. Max? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I like Max, but I'm not a hardcore fan, no, no. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously we can't spoil the results of the real life F1 sprint shootout qualifying thing today. But it looks like it's going to be exciting, doesn't it? That's all we'll say. We can't say who got where, but it looks exciting, doesn't it? Based off the grid. Yeah, to be honest, uh, because I was flying home, I didn't watch it. <laughs> so I haven't watched it yet really either. I, I'm doing it straight after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what, I, I know the results, but I, I haven't watched it. This is the thing, yeah, but apparently I, it's amazing. So I heard so too. Uh, so we, we have the same level of knowledge there. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I will watch it straight after this. So, guys, if you guys can drive quicker than you've ever driven in your life, <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated. But, um, no, so, anyway, let's go back to MRCX. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going to ask you now. One name. Uh, one name. Uh, I say Little Pearl. You're going to go Little Pearl. Okay, that's fair enough. He looked very strong, didn't he? He made a few mistakes, but... In general, yeah, he good. Was, I think he was, you know, he was uh, sitting behind Chris and Alex all the time. A few times he was very close to Chris, and I thought he could uh, make a move, but uh, I'm not sure if he he didn't really have the straight line speed. And Chris also had some uh, slipstream from Alex still, so it was difficult to overtake from the third position in the rain. But I think now it will be possible for him and. Uh, what I also, what we also need to consider is that um, unfortunately Alex has some problems with his force feedback sometimes uh, that it uh, disappears and uh, he said that uh, in the sprint race he didn't have it and you see as soon as he doesn't have these problems he, he wins and uh, I mean I hope that uh, it's still there because otherwise it's really, uh, it's really not nice to drive if you don't have it. Yeah, but I hope he's got it. I, otherwise, I'm going to feel terrible, but there's nothing I can do, you know? I had yeah. to. But, no, I hope he's got it. I do. But, at the same time, you could just race for him, Stefan, and everything would be easier. <laughs> race for him? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah win for him. Win for him? <laughs> of course, me. <laughs> Yeah, you're nah. like the Sebastian Vettel to his Michael Schumacher, you know? It's, that's how nah. it is. But this is I'm a very not... interesting grid because obviously the main guys, the fastest guys I want to say, not the main guys, but the fastest guys are actually all at the front. The top six. I don't know who could win it out of any of them, you know? Like, they're all so, so quick. These guys are going to stick with each other for the whole race. Uh, so... I don't think anyone, they, they are so close together, I don't think any of them will be able to break out of the DRS. Maybe Kit, if he finds his pace again, but he's all the way down in six, so he uh, would have to get to the front first of all. And so maybe it will be down to the strategy, and there we see that uh, Ant has chosen the soft tire, which is not surprising. It's what uh, he usually does and uh, we know he's the tire whisperer he 
takes them as lo long as most people take their mediums, so that's easy for him. Yeah, he is very good on his tyres, Ant, isn't he? Like, obviously, he's a driver you've raced against. He's really come a long way in the last, I don't know, two seasons, hasn't he? It, he was always very fast in the race, uh, but usually he was starting from the back. And now he uh, found out that there is something called uh, qualifying and that you can practice it. <laughs> and now he's uh, starting in the top ten and then he's uh, really a candidate for a podium or a win in every race. The question I have for you is the same question that everyone has, okay? Are you going to beat Eugenio on Monday? No. <laughs> in which? In which? Maybe in uh, football or uh, in, I don't know, <laughs> what else he does. If he does Are you not going to beat him in F1, no? No. no. <laughs> Why? Come maybe on, you can do it if you put your mind to it. Well, if you say so, I'm delighted, but... <laughs> uh, I believe in you. Someone has to stop him. Practice a lot. But we have got three, four, five red lights. And we go... Uh, racing! Chris Bailey gets a very good start, but not quite as good as Savior. Savior's actually uh, got away really, really well. Anton's had a good uh, start as well. He's alongside Laura Pell heading in two to one. And Laura Pell runs a little bit wide, but that's going to open him up for turn three. But Anton's had a really good exit. Oh, no, he's run really wide. He's in the gravel. He's held. He's going to hold on to P4, though, just about from Kid. G-Star's not had a good start at all. He's dropped down to P7. Wow, but that was a very brave move on Bubu, and he got the place back, actually. Yeah, he did. That is for sure. The single track's had a good start as well. He's gone from 15th to 12th. Oh. See, he's done really well early on here. Yeah. Was very unlucky in the sprint race, but that's a good thing. You have a second chance. Yeah, you definitely do. He's doing really well. So, let's see what he's going to sort of get up to here it's interesting that's for sure but look at Chris he's really really close but also Laura Pell sort of moved out of the, uh, the traction just to try and get a little bit of a run on Chris Bailey but Savior's locked up very badly do we think Savior has force feedback uh, the way he was using the curbs in the last corner um... Not sure. Yeah, but they just managed to hold on to the position in P1, so maybe he has. He's just defended it the same way as he did the entire of the sprint. So, oh, I think Jamer's had a moment. He's dropped behind Jackster, but now he's actually coming back to Jackster. Let's go and have a look at this battle for P12. They're side by side. Let's have a look, because here goes... Uh, Jamer, he's having a look at Jackster, and he's uh, Jamer's through. Very good move in P12. But look at how close Chris is to the rear end of your fellow German. Yeah, the uh, not an unusual picture. It's not. It's not an unusual. We always see Chris and Xavier together, don't we? They just love each other. They love to cuddle, indeed. Yeah, they spoon each night. But... I think so too. No, it's obvious. <laughs> Chris has pictures yeah. of Savior on his uh, bedroom wall. But here comes Chris. He's going to make the move up the inside. Is he going to be able to get it done? I think he is. Oh, Savior's got a no. very, very good exit. Wow. He was like a rocket ship. Oh, but now Chris has a very good one. Yeah, he does. Who's going to get it? Chris is going to have the outside line, which is actually better into turn one because it helps you for turn two. But we've seen so many times Savior defend it. And guess what? He's done oh, it but again. Have... But here comes Laura Pell. He's going to look around the outside. They're side by side heading down to turn four. Here comes Laura Pell. 
He's going to have the inside. Is he going to be able to make the move stick? Chris is going to try and hold it there. But Laura Pell takes P2. Or has he? Because Chris is still there. Incredible racing. Wow. <laughs> <Whew>. I'm already <laughs> loving this. It's it's lap three, guys. <laughs> say please calm down a little bit. <laughs> Can I breathe, please, guys? <laughs> I would yeah. appreciate it. It'd be nice. Wouldn't anybody, yes. wouldn't anybody think about the commentators? <laughs> <laughs> they never do. It's not, but then it's the same with Elite Tier every week. They always leave. I think I was on comms for Elite Tier on Monday with uh, Simba. And we couldn't breathe for half of the race because it was raining in Silverstone and everyone was still side by side the entire race. Oh, I watched it. I wish I, I could have taken part. Yeah, but I think Chris is about to take the lead. No, he's run very oh, wide. They are all, everyone's fighting. I don't, yeah, I, but yeah. who's going to get it into the final corner? Chris has taken it. But Saviour, he's going to try and line him back up on the run down to turn two. Oh, turn one, sorry. Boy, oh, he runs really well. He had DRS. He's going to try and stick it around the outside. He's going to try and pull Chris's move on Chris. But he's not going to be close enough unless he's going to make... Oh, he's just about held on for the time being. But these guys... Wow, they love to race. Ah, <laughs> uh, really looking forward to Monday now to join them. Hopefully that's... They are all three tenths and not more... It's crazy. We'll separate it. Yeah. yeah. Anton's not making no. those softs work, though, is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He, he's not making them work too well at the minute, and no, is he? Um, yeah, but... He needs to make the moves, but... He might be okay. Oh, Fanning's had a moment. I think, no, not Fanning. Airways. Airways. Oh, Airways. Unlucky, my friend. Hopefully, you can get the position back. But Fanning and Bobo having a very good battle for P7. He holds on for now, but it's safely going to be able to get anywhere near Chris Bailey. He's going to have the DRS. I think he's going to be a bit too far back. He's actually probably going to be under a little bit more. Oh, safety car. Oh. At least we get a, ta a chance to breathe. Yeah, I think that's, oh, that's the only reason it came out, because I don't think there was anything happening on track. <laughs> I, th I think they were worried that I was going to um, die if the safety car didn't come out or something. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I think the race director just got a heart attack. Xavier's pit! And he decided to calm things down a little bit. Okay, Xavier pit, that's interesting. That seems a little Very bit good. too early though, doesn't it? G Star's, G -Star's well. also pit. Yeah, uh, Bobo oh, many has. I'm surprised that this many people have pitted. Hard tires as expected? Well. I mean, he didn't lose that much. He's still in P9. And of course, you you can stretch the hard tires here, but... Well, the thing is, this is if he can go to the end, he's going to have a very big lead over everyone because they're all going to have to pit under normal racing conditions. He's going to have hard yeah. tires that can take him to the end, and he's going to overtake everyone. So it's going to be how quickly can everyone catch up to him, you know? So if Xavier can go to the end here, he's going to look like an absolute god. So, this is interesting now, how this is going to actually work for Xavier. Because obviously Chris, Lorapel, Anton, Kid, they all can't pit because uh, they're already bunched up to the safety car, aren't they? So... Yeah, now they have made their decision indeed. Uh... I'm surprised yeah, Anne didn't come in, because he's on the soft. Now, now you have separated the group a little bit, and well, uh, yeah, I mean, they had so much fun together. Like it was, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm curious if uh, if Sabian Gisa can. Uh, catch up to them quickly and uh, we'll get through the traffic then uh, They have a chance to stick with them and then uh, of course if there's no safety car they have a big advantage Yeah, of course that would also be then it would come down to the question whether 
Chris Bailey, Lyra Pell and so on can close the gap after they have done their mandatory pit stop and uh, so that would be rather a race against the Delta against the time that would also be very interesting to see, I mean we get lots of side-by-side uh, -side battles but now a battle to see whether you know for example Chris can close a 20 second gap with pressure tires in 10 laps, I don't know uh, you don't have that very often because I usually would have or very often we had a safety car uh, in the yeah. middle of the race or at the end of the race, but uh, maybe this will be like the second part of the race. So in the first part they could really like, <laughs> you know, do everything, fight with each other, burn their tires, uh, go crazy. And I don't know if this will, if it will continue like this. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's, uh, I'm interested to see how this plays out now. Um, yes, so... Very... It's... Because of the safety car, it's a very, uh, burnt race now. Yeah, it definitely is. I think... Say, well... Obviously, I haven't done... Well, I haven't actually done any practice yet, sadly. And obviously, you haven't either, because you've been home about half an hour. But... Like, I'm interested to see if there's, if he can take the hard tyres 22 laps now. Yes, it's very... Because if he can, very good he could, he could be about to win this race. He could, yeah. But we, we will see very soon, I am very sure of that. But, Lurapel is... He, he looks very quick as well. Can he keep hold of Chris Bailey? Can Kid Dynamite get himself in the mix? Can Anton make his soft tyres work? We will see all of this in about two minutes' time. Yeah, good point. Maybe Lurapel now uh, finally has no one ahead of him with uh, DRS, so he has the chance to go into the lead and show his uh, full pace. I'm um, curious to see that. Yeah, so am I. He looked very, very quick. He actually, I think, at times looked quicker than Chris in the sprint, didn't he? A little bit. He looked yes. like he was the quickest driver out there, but he just made a few too many mistakes, which cost him. But Chris has gone, and he sort of caught Lurapel napping a little bit here. He pulled eight tenths of a second. Chris did a very good restart there. Oh, he did, yeah. He timed that to absolute perfection. He sort of caught everyone off guard. Fanning is right behind Kid Dynamite. Not quite close enough at the moment, though. So, maybe we're going to have a lap here of calm, where nobody's going to do anything. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Actually, tell a lie, because here goes Saviour. He's already making the move on uh, Smith for P8. And through goes Saviour, he's already making those positions. And here comes uh, G-Star as well, he's having a look round the outside of turn 5! That's nearly incredible, he's got it done into 6! Wow, brilliant driving from G-Star! Ah, very clean, very lovely. Yeah, and now he's going to lose ah, another place, because here comes Bobo! Trying the same thing. And he's got it done as well. Oh, oh, my red's had a moment. Yeah. And uh, grass, yeah. Yeah, he's not had a good start there, has he? That's unlucky. Laura Pell, though, look at him. He's still uh, very much attached to Chris Bailey's rear end. Oh, big yes. moment for Laura Pell. But Anton just can't seem to get those soft tyres to work. He's just got close enough to Lurapel. I, I'm not sure how it is on this game, but on uh, previous games, the soft tires used to be absolutely horrible on the track. It wasn't possible to take them just five laps. I guess uh, nowadays, 
few more laps are possible. They are a bit more drivable, but uh, maybe even someone like Andrew is struggling with them in the race. Yeah, just a little bit. He's. They just don't seem to be working for him, do they? He just seems a bit off the pace at this stage. Oh, yeah, the flag. I think Triz has had a crash Triz. or something, but hopefully he can get going again and keep racing. But Chris has got a healthy lead. He's still not broken the DRS yet, which he needs to do by the end of this lap because everyone will have DRS next lap. So we've got 20 laps to go, though. Still a long, long way. I wonder if Xavier's going to try and make a move on Bit W. I think he is just about to. He is. He's side by yeah. side. He's going to go up the inside. I think G-Star's maybe going to have a look as well. No, he's not. He's not close enough. But here goes Xavier and through goes Xavier. Next up for Xavier is Fanning. This is going to... Uh, could he get Xavier before they even get to turn one? All right, he won't get him before, but could he get him into turn one? Is he going to be close enough? Not quite. He doesn't uh, have he DRS done that straight. Uh. It was close, wasn't it? Again, I, I feel like Xavier is trying to avoid the curve, so that makes me think that uh, indeed he's racing without force feedback, so that would be very unfortunate for him. As Triss is out. He's gone in the pit lane. Ah, uh, he's gone in the pit lane, okay. Yeah. No safety cut, yeah? But actually, Chris has broken the DRS. So... He has. Yeah, he's... Anton, you know I said he's not looking too quick at this stage. He's actually now starting to catch Lorapel. Yes. Yes. So... Lorapel's not gonna get DRS. No, he's not. Interesting. I thought uh, he would... Uh put more pressure on Chris. Maybe he's saving his tyres for a couple of laps and then he's going to go for a little charge up to him, but we will see. Because Anton's also under a bit of pressure from Kid, who is now starting to get close. Is he going to be able to make the move on Anton? Oh, he had a little look, but say, uh, Chris has just had a huge lock-up at the end of the straight. Oh, G-Star and Xavier. G-Star, does he make the double move? He does. Wow, he does. Very, very good. He just about kept it on track. He nearly went wide, didn't he? But for yeah, now, but he's kept it on the track. Managed to stay ahead. And now the Alex and Xavier are through, came through the traffic and they have a 5.7 gap. So they didn't lose too much time, but they still lost some time, of course. Which yeah. Ended Every second will be uh, important if there is no second safety car. Yeah, I agree. I think both of them are going to be... I mean, even if they... Well, G-Star, look at him already. He's taken nearly half a second out of Kid Dynamite in, th in five corners. Yeah, don't forget. Uh, as of now, they have to pass his tyres. Yeah, they definitely do. So later on, they will be on the slower tyre, but uh, for now they still have the chance to close that gap, of course, before the leaders are going to pit. Yep, definitely. There we see that, and it's not getting a good exit out of this corner. Maybe Kit has a chance. Yeah, he's going for the move. Yep, he is. And through goes Mr. Dynamite. Is, oh, I thought he was going to look at Lirapel then as well. No, that, uh, that would have been too ambitious, I believe. But Chris but will maybe not want to see this. Race. Oh, big oh. moment for Lirapel! And now Kid yeah. is going to go now, through. Oh, oh Anto as well. He's having a look. Is he going to be able to make it? Oh, it's so close between the two. But he's get, Lower Pell's going to hold on for the time being. Great racing, again, from all three drivers. 
Exactly. Now we have uh, Kit, another driver who was stuck in trapping for some time now, who has now the chance to show his pace. So very curious if he will be uh, closing the the DRS gap to Chris. You know what else is interesting about uh, this? What's happening at the front? It is the top two in the championship as the first two <laughs> and they are separated by oh no sorry Anton's second in the championship Chris is third in the championship oh okay but Chris is 31 points behind so Chris sort of needs to win this to start clawing a few points back to kids but Anton's sort of fallen back a little bit. Those soft tyres really are not working for him. I think he may pit very, very soon, you know. Maybe even this lap it wouldn't surprise me. Is he going to pit? No, he carries on. So Anton obviously feels some grip still in those tyres for now. Apparently he does. Which, but his pace just like, and I'm not saying he's a slow driver, but his pace isn't showing that at the minute, is he? He's not quite as fast as Kid, Laura Pell and Chris right now. So... No, not... Not... <laughs> exactly. But he's still keeping up. So not bad on uh, 11 lap old soft tires. Yeah, let's but also... Soon just... Alex and Sabia yeah. will be there. Yeah, I, I just noticed that. G-Star and Sabia. The gap was 4.5. The... the gap was 4.5 two laps ago. It's now just over two seconds so they're going to be there I reckon they could even be there by the end of this lap maybe with the, the pace they're going at at the moment so yeah let's see can, can kid get within that DRS of Chris the issue for kid is he's still under a lot of pressure from the flying Dutchman behind him in Laura Pell he is so, so. You know what I said about G-Star being on the back of Ant, by the way? He's taken one second in three quarters. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's flying. But let's have a look. Is Laura Pell going to be close? No. So close to the rear of Kid. Ooh, that no, was he doesn't very want close. to overtake yet. They want to get the DRS first of Chris. They don't want to let him run away. And now uh, they have. Yeah, they have got the DRS on Chris. So this is this is insane, isn't it? Like it really is. Soon we're gonna have again the top six all within DRS of each I other. Was, I was about to say we're we are back where we came from. Just now, G Star and Xavier don't have to pit anymore, so they are very lucky. Yeah. But the issue is, if they, how long yeah. do they leave it? I mean, Chris, Kid, Laura Power and Anton, because they need as much time as possible to be able to get, to catch back up to G-Star and Xavier, because don't forget, they're going to hit a graining phase on their hard tyres at some point as well. So they need yes. to take that into account for when they're trying to chase those guys down, you know? Yes, exactly. And uh, there, there is some traffic still behind them where they would come out on people... Yep. Some people who are uh, like Jack Sassing, the Jai Lofi, they don't, they're on the same strategy and they need to pass them as well. Yeah, it's going to get very, very interesting. It's going to be basically the winner. If Chris, Kid Dynamite, Laura Pell can all get past the traffic very quickly, then they're really lucky. But I'll tell you something, look at G Star. He's having a look at Anton into the, at the end of the straight. He's made the lunge. He's got the move done, and G-Star... G-Star could take the lead of this race before anyone even pits. He's got so much more grip than everyone. Yeah. He... Well, I mean, he he would have been up there with the guys if, he, if the random grit order wasn't so mean to him. Yeah. Uh, and he, he's showing that. Yeah, he definitely is. But, I mean, at the minute, he is probably making his claim for driver... Because at the minute, he is the net race leader. G-Star, so... Yes. 
Can anyone stop him? That's the question. Because Saviour hasn't quite managed to get near Ant as quickly, has he? So, he's sort of a bit further back. He's, he's, he's with the pack, but not with the pack, if you know what I mean. So, yes, we will see. But Kid against Chris against Laura Pell. That's for the current race lead, but... We saw how good G-Star's exit was out of this little complex last time. Is it going to be as good this time? No. But can Kid get anywhere near Mr. Uh, Chris Bailey? Let's have a look. He's closing, he's closing. Is Kid going to have a look? No, he's not. They're all going to hold position and be very, very sensible for the time being. Do you wish you was there racing these guys, Stefan? Uh, I wish I would be right in the middle there. <laughs> what? Between? The sandwich. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chris and Anton are both pitted, I've just realised. Oh, yeah. So Especially they've gone for the Andrew undercut on Kid on. and Laura Pell, those two have. Oh, I think it's that would be very effective. Um, curious if Anton will be... Yeah. No. No, he's choosing the hard tire as well. Interesting that he doesn't want to use the mediums. Yeah, he could have gone to the mediums there, couldn't he? But I wonder if maybe Kid and Laura Pell are going to potentially look at the soft tires here. Maybe go a couple of extra laps and try and get the softs, because they've just seen Anton do 14 with pretty... Yeah. He managed to stay with the pack, didn't he? So... But we've seen that the uh, fresh hard tire is really fast around here. Uh, it is, yes. Xavier and Gisa demonstrated that. Yeah, so it I, think I want to keep an eye on Chris strong. and Ant's progress, yeah. though. How quickly can they get past Airways, Jackster, Lorpy, Single Track, Bobo? That's the oh, question. they have a little gap now, so maybe some people ahead of them will hit it. So for now, they can uh, uh, push. Yeah, definitely. I mean, no. G-Star's sort of... I think G-Star's hit that graining phase a little bit because he's sort of backed off. But Laura Pell's got up the inside of Kid Dynamite for the lead at the moment. And Laura Pell takes the lead from Kid. But let's see. Is, I think Laura Pell's just come in the pits. He has. So... I wonder where he's going to come out in comparison to Anton and Chris. G-Star... Oh, he tried to get past Kid. Yeah. I, to be honest, someone just put watch out for fires on the track. Uh, there isn't much wind here today. It's quite clear at like 50 degrees, so we're all good. <laughs> it should be fine. Uh, Laura Pell did go for the soft tyres. Interesting. Uh, yeah, well, well, that makes things interesting. It really does. I would have gone in a bit earlier and have chosen the uh, hard tire, but uh, well, let's see. now the car is lighter as well, so maybe it will be a bit easier to drive. What's the interesting handle. is, though, is the thing is, he's now going to be fighting with Chris while they're both trying to fight other people to get through the pack, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, it, it now... The last thing those two want to do is start fighting. They almost want to help each other rather than fight. So, but I wonder if we're going to see Kid Dynamite in this lap. G-Star's about to take the lead from him at the end of the straight. He has. I think this might be the lap we see Kid in. Yeah, may probably. Uh, but what I want to point out, what we didn't talk about yet, um, the cars in between G-Star and those guys who just hit it uh this this is a battle for position okay so they are not yeah they don't have to pit again like bubo can also cruise home in p4 because why not he has a he's on the same strategy as g star and savior as is lopi and jackstar a single track single track is actually boxing now yeah and uh, so is airways but airways is done it i think because he's on the medium tire so airways yeah, is just, he, was, he can't get to the end but oh, single okay, track is going to be very quick now they are 
the thing is, this is actually hurting Kid. He doesn't really need to be fighting. Yeah. He doesn't want to be fighting G Star right now. But at the same time, this is also helping Chris and Laura Pell and Anton because G Star is being slowed down by Kid Dynamite. So, at the same time, they're sort of being benefited by this, but Savior will probably want to get back in the mix with this a little bit. But I agree with what you say about Savior's force feedback. I've noticed he is staying very, very far away from all the curbs. Oh, Dexter is round. He spun. Oh, That's Dexter. That's unfortunate lucky. for him. So... Yeah. He's having a good race, yeah, wasn't he? So. Yeah, I just want to point out that at the moment, Bobo is in the net podium and. Uh, there is still a nine second gap towards Chris and we've got nine laps to go or ten laps to go so uh yeah it's oh still... big crash sorry G Star and Kid about a big accident oh I missed it in the final corner wow I just went away from it I didn't see it and there's a wing change for Kid yeah, I didn't have a good view of it, but I think what happened was, I think Kid was on the inside. He wanted to come in the pits. G-Star didn't oh, realise no, he no. wanted to come in the pits, and both the drivers made contact. Ah, oh, that, oh, yeah, they're both going to be... There's gonna, we're upset. probably going to see that in the stewards. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see in the stewards. But uh, you know how you were talking about Bobo being a net P3? Uh, interestingly, he's actually in the challenger tier. Oh, so that's an incredible uh, race, isn't it? It is definitely. Now we also... even go back to G Star, who's now now Xavier is our new leader. Uh, yeah. Also, just to point out as well, Laura Pell's got past Chris. Oh yeah, so for now the soft tires are of course really fast, but I'm curious how it's going to look like in five laps. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. But how, the thing is, so right now, let's work this out. Let's actually change this, so we want the gap to the leader. Uh, Laura Pell is 12 and a half seconds off the lead right now. <sighs> 12 and a half seconds, okay. If the tire stayed like this, it's, I can imagine this, but I don't think in the last three or four laps he will be able to push a, a, a second per lap. Oh, I agree, a hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think he's he went a little bit too early for the soft tires. Yeah, but. We will see. Maybe he can. Maybe he's going to prove us very, very wrong here. Don't forget, they are on low fuel as well. And Anton managed to do 14 on high fuel. So, it'll be interesting to see if they work well for Laura Pell. Oh, making another move. So, now it's 5 seconds to Bobo. Yeah, it's now 11.1 .1 to Saviour for... Uh, by the way, I think G-Star... Apparently, according to... The on screen at least G Star has no damage, but I'm almost certain I saw his wing go flying. So that ah, surprises kid had, me. Kid has a wing changed. This is what I saw. Maybe it was a part of his wing. Ah, okay. Well, we will. I guess I'll find out soon. But ten seconds now. So in one lap, Laura Power has taken two and a half seconds out of Savior. Okay, two and a half. Okay, for now. Now he needs to uh, do this, of course, but it's not. It's not going to stay like this. So the delta will drop significantly. Of yeah. Chris also yeah, moves up. Them. Yeah. So I need to remind you, Chris is not far behind Liverpool, and his tires will be more consistent. But um, let, let's let's put it into perspective for one second. Okay, so that lap, Laura Powell took actually nearly three seconds altogether out of Sabia. Chris Payne yeah. only took one second out of Sabia. So yeah he Chris Bailey needs to take a little bit more. He's got eight laps to take 11 seconds. 
you know? Yeah. The only thing is, come the end of this race, Xavier is going to have done 23 laps on his hard tyres. Whereas Chris is only going to have done 14. So... It's gonna we it's really gonna be very interesting. Hard to tell. Yeah, but in five laps we will know more how the it's really questionable how the tires are developing and uh, actually just um, what I said, now we have this race against the tire wear, against the time, you know, the laps are coming down and down and they need to close the gap. Uh, it's interesting, so I like this uh, about the like we had a, an a absolutely insane start to the race with so much fighting we didn't know where where was uh, upside and downside it was <laughs> it just was crazy and now we have a bit more yeah it's a bit more tactical more uh, more about fire management so Two very different kind of races, but both very interesting. Both with an open end, so um, I really like this. That we, what the drivers are serving us here. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. This it, sometimes racing isn't all about you know the side by side, is it? It's sometimes yeah. watching them chase. Uh, but quickly, oh, I'll finish what I was just saying a minute. So Laura Pell at the start of that last lap was nine. Point seven. He's now seven point one. Chris on that lap wow, as well cool. took two seconds out of Savior as well. So Chris has now put the hammer down as well. Well, uh, yeah. So for now, the well, if the tires are five laps old, and he can still uh, uh, reduce the gap by two seconds per lap, then uh, it's definitely possible. If they are not completely going off. Yeah, Laura Powell's about to make the move on Bobo. And yeah. he's got it done on Bobo. Very, very good move from the Dutchman. Oh, there was nearly contact as well, which was not good news. But they both survived it for the time being. But interestingly now, just 6.2 seconds. Laura Pell is off the lead. With six laps to oh. go, so so he that lap he only took one second out of Savior, but he did have to make an overtake. Yeah, yeah, of he, course, and he will be held up. Must have been held up a little bit in the second sector, probably. Uh, yeah, interesting. Now he is up to the rear of G Star already. And at the moment as well, Chris Bailey is not doing enough. He needs to get the foot down a little bit if he wants to win this race. I tell you what, the guys who pitted early may have just pulled an absolute blinder of a strategy here. The guys who went on that foot on that safety car. Uh, maybe. Unless Laura Pell can make these soft tyres work. If he can make these soft tyres last, then, well, he's going to win this race, isn't he? But... Yeah, so he, he's going to move up into P2 now, and see if uh, he can catch Xavier. I mean, we cannot, we shouldn't forget that G-Star would be like two seconds ahead of Xavier, wasn't yeah. it, for the incident with Kit. So... Yeah, it's 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 an open fight now. Now we, Europe has only Savior left to chase down. He's got five seconds and he's got five laps. Has he got enough in the soft tires? Because he's going to need to get to Savior before the last lap. I think he needs to do it. He needs two laps, you know, to be able to yeah. really yes. challenge. So we, we'll see. Chris needs to get the move done on Bobo. He's he, he's just not within the DRS. Chris is not taking enough time out on these hard tyres at the minute. Savior no, and Savior has just enough pace to be able to keep that gap at roughly what it is. 
I think he does have his force feedback. He's just... Oh, crash! Bobo! Oh, that's such oh, a no. shame. He's just reset to track. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, We're going to move well, thankfully on. No, thankfully, no safety car. I really want to see how this will play out in the end. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a safety car would have almost ruined it a little bit, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, man. So, this lap, Lurapels has clean air. He has taken five, uh, one and a half seconds out of Savia on this lap. But you know what is interesting as well? Bobo spinning has now put Chris, Chris's next driver uh, from him is G-Star. You're right. Yeah. This so, could maybe another battle for the podium. Well, the thing is, Chris, Chris would or, like to get as many, gain as many points as he can on, um, on G Star. Yes. Oh, on Kid Dynamite. Sorry. In the championship. But Kid is actually uh, on the back of Ant, and uh, Ant is three seconds behind. And Kid's tires are fresher than those of the Rappel, so he will definitely. Be keeping this pace, and uh, to remind, without the incident, Kit would have uh, yeah, be uh, further ahead. Yeah, I think he'd be. Well, he'd probably be ahead of Chris at least, because yeah, obviously Surely he was side by side with G Star when the incident actually happened. But made five seconds because of the wing change. Yeah. Yeah, so, so he, right now he would probably, or maybe even on the back of G-Star again. So, yeah, but obviously it hurt him a little bit not being able to pit. But let's see, can Kid get Anton on this lap? We will have a look, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's going to fly past him. Before we even get near the braking zone, Kid Dynamite takes P5. Next up for him is, well, he's just got past his main championship rival, who's currently P2. Now he's going to get his next one, who is currently P3 in the championship, in Chris Bailey. But Chris Bailey will fight it very hard because he wants those points. Also, look at that gap at the front. 2.3 seconds. Wow, two seconds. It's... 2 seconds. Yeah. So, in two laps... Yeah. Tyreware is definitely starting to hit Lorapel though. He's only taken seven tenths out in the last two laps. Like seven tenths uh, e each lap. Yeah, so you see it. Yeah. So we will see him in the DRS in the last two laps probably, but still he needs to um, have the advantage and the DRS and especially the traction out of the uh, bank corner so yeah definitely because now I also the, the degradation of the tires is not proportional so when they the soft tires go off they go off much quickly. quicker than before yeah they really do the, yeah there's no there's not really a grading phase on the soft is it it's just they work and then yeah. they don't work <laughs> and there's no coming back is there after they're gone they're gone but exactly. we are going to get two laps oh, here of mistake. oh that's going to give Chris the opportunity he's going to try and take it into turn one this will be big for Chris because it will put a car between him and Kid Dynamite and through goes Chris into Turn one. So that. there will probably be DRS on the end of the end of this lap for Lorapel. Yeah, there certainly 1. will. One point one. Lorapel has driven. Oh, he's made a big mistake. Yeah, that's not good. Those tires are really hurting Lorapel now. Has he got the speed in his car? Or is Savior going to take his first win? of season 13 which is absolutely crazy to say because 
usually he's won many races by this point of the season, hasn't he, Xavier? But it just shows he's trying to adjust to life a little bit on that wheel. Can he hold on? That's the question. We're about to find out. Because Lorapel is in the DRS. Is his rear wing going to open down this straight? Let's have a it look. Is. He has. Yeah. So, let's see. Is he going to get anywhere near Saviour this lap? No. Well, not down the straight anyway. Let's get have a look at G-Star. Well, Kid Dynamite's actually right on the back of G-Star. He's not close enough. Do you know what? If I was Chris, I would keep giving G-Star um, DRS. Yeah. Because it protects Definitely. him from his championship rival. So, his best hope is to actually give G-Star DRS here again. But, Kid's going to make the move anyway. On his fresh soft tyres. Is G-Star going to try and hold it on? Oh, there's contact between the two again. These two have already come together once today. But is G-Star Kid is through on his soft tyres. That is the move done. Next up for Kid, Chris Bailey. What a comeback drive from Kid. Wow. Yeah, I think there's so many options here for driver of the day. You obviously have Saviour. He's definitely in the consideration. Laura Pell going for his soft strategy could still win this race, you know? Exactly. Then you've got G Star who started the sprint in P, what was it, 16? Fought all the way back up to the top five yeah, and yeah. actually led most of this race. Kit Chris as well has made a brilliant recovery from his poor strategy call. So any of the top six, I think, could. Re and Bobbo as well, I think he deserves a mention. He's been right there as well for most of the race. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, Jackster's out. Jackster's out. Is Lorapel close enough? He's not. Do you know what? Saviour could win this race. After all of this, Saviour could win this race. Definitely. We have one final lap. We don't want to jinx it. So, yeah. No, nope, I'm not going to say anything. But let's see. Is Lorapel going to get anywhere near him on the run down to turn one? I don't think Lorapel has enough tyres left in his car, to be honest with you. But let's go now have a look at Kid versus Chris. I don't think Kid's close enough to Chris even to turn one. So they've all got one more opportunity each. Kid and Lorapel both have one more opportunity. And that's obviously down the back straight. Let's see. Or is, oh, Lorapel might go for it. He's not going to go for it there. It looked like he was having a little look, didn't it? Are you alive, Stefan? All good? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Uh, I thought you fell asleep on me then. <laughs> Actually, I got very tired for a few seconds. <laughs> no, no I don't blame you. I, I, I will make this lap. Uh, this is going to so. be incredible, though. <laughs> Who's going to win? It's. Yeah, oh, that's so fascinating. Okay, so. <laughs> Who's going to win? Is there a going to get it done? Has he got the... Oh, big moment oh, for Lorapel! This is going to give Xavier a good advantage. Has he got the straight line speed to get anywhere near the German man? Is Xavier going to be able to hold it off? Let's look back. Do you know what? Xavier I think he's going to be ERS. okay. He has the ERS. He does. He's got the inside line. He's now taking the outside line. But Lorapel's gone for the switcheroo, who's going to get it? They're side by side in the final corner! Oh! Lorapel's taken the win! With a bit of contact, Kid Dynamite's got past Chris for P3. Uh, Chris's P4, Anton is P5. G-Star is P6, Lorpy is in P6. We'll get no, P7. No, they are still fighting. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh. Wow. It, it was just meant to be. I mean, I, I could have, we could have foreseen it that uh, this is going to be a battle until the very last corner. And it was side by side in that small left hander in the last lap for the win. Wow. I mean, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, there was a bit of contact. I don't know if it was just uh, racing. I didn't see it. I have to say, for now, I don't care because, I mean, come on, you're fighting for the win in the very last corner. 
of course you, you're not I gonna say okay. But... From what from what I saw, I think both drivers gave each other space. I think Sabia maybe just lost the traction yeah. a little bit. He just had a little bit of a loss of traction. Really tried to push for that win, you know. But if you're not committed at this, there, then then it's uh, I don't know why, but yeah, insane. <laughs> What that a, was. I had no uh, idea who was going to win it on that last lap. It was incredible racing. No. Smith is the last person to take the line. I'll get you to pick a driver of the day in a minute. Good luck to you because that's going to be a very tough oh, choice. I, I need to make a choice as well, so it's not uh, going to be easy. But I will run you yeah. through the grid. The single track gets the games driver of the day. But the, uh, the your finishing results. Laura Pell takes the win. Saviour takes second. Recovery from him. Fourth for Chris Bailey. Fifth for Anton. Sixth for G-Star. Seventh for Lorpy. Eighth for Single Track. Ninth for Fanning. Tenth for Carl. Eleventh for Airways. Tenth, uh, twelfth for Armar Red, who will actually take the win. What happened to Bobbo? I think he but left the session too early, so... Ah, uh, but then Amar the Red game. then will take the lead, yeah. uh, the win for the yeah, challenger tier. Jamer and Smith will run out the podium. Bobo, Jackster, Triz all did not finish. Stefan, who is your driver of the day? Could you give me another 20 minutes? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll pick mine and then I'll let you pick yours, yeah? Okay. My driver of the All day right. is going to... I'd like to just give an honourable mention to Saviour. What a drive that was. A brilliant strategy call. But it has to go to Lurapel. He put the softs on and me and you both thought it was the wrong strategy, didn't we? And we thought it was a little bit too early. And... Uh, And he managed to make it work and win the race. So I'm going for Laura Pell. Who have you made your mind up? Uh, I'm not saying this because I cannot decide, but uh, I agree with you because uh, yeah. I was saying that he that I was doubting that this was the right strategy to go for on the soft, you know, on the soft tires at the end. Yeah. But uh, he proved me wrong. So it was actually they they were really good, and they lasted. And yeah. uh, well, that, that's interesting to know for Monday for me as well. So uh, I've learned something that's uh, it was worth staying uh, up. And we also have to mention uh, Bubo, like uh, if we disregard the top six, because he he did a very great race as well. If it wasn't for this uh, spin that he had, so I think he finished still in eighth place or so. It was just that. The game kicked him out of the standings. Don't know why this glitch happens, but yeah, so these would be my two picks. Yeah, I agree totally. But um, absolutely incredible. From start to finish, the sprint race, we had some brilliant battles in the wet, in the actual race. Again, at one point, I think it was on like lap 10, we had the top six were separated by what, like three tenths of a second or something crazy. Absolutely insane. Uh, Stefan, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. It was, uh, yeah, I'm happy that I could uh, comment on this, these two, these two amazing races with you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to really go to sleep now, but hopefully I'm going <laughs> to have some sweet dreams about this six-way fight and um, hope hopefully you could be involved on one day that's what you've got to hope your headset went a bit crazy then anyway i'm gonna end the stream guys thank you all so much for watching and uh have a wonderful weekend don't forget to tune in to uh, expert at uh, 7 o'clock on Monday. Elite are 8.45. Comp tier at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. And uh, sports here at 8.45 on Wednesday. We'll be back 7.30 next week.
in I can't remember what track it is. I think it's Belgium. But you will see us next week. And have a good evening. And don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that bell. Because we bring you so much content. But good night, guys.